on a drizzly winter month like this, what better to warm up your spirits than a sticky toffee pudding? Let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, I've got these beautiful medjool dates. They're sticky and just so flavoursome. I weigh them out, pit them, then chop them up as fine as I can. To hydrate them slightly and get them even stickier, I'm going to pour some boiling hot water on them and leave this for half an hour. This can be mashed up slightly and I'll add some vanilla extract. Whilst these dates do their thing, I'll prep these ramekin dishes, perfect for sticky toffee really, and I love doing them individually as everyone gets a really good sized portion. To ensure that these puds don't stick, you need to butter and flour them really well. This much butter's good. Then these can sit on a tin, ready for later. We can now move on to the main event and create our mixture, starting off with self-raising flour and a teaspoon of baking powder a couple of eggs I'll crack into a bowl and whisk up. Using a balloon whisk allows you to aerate them slightly and gets it done in no time at all. Weigh out demerara sugar, add in softened butter. In my trial I used a balloon whisk to incorporate these together and it didn't work very well so I recommend you use a large wooden spoon or a spatula to beat these two together. It's really important though that your butter has been out of the fridge for at least half an hour otherwise you'll be there forever trying to beat the two together. The eggs can now be added along with two tablespoons of black treacle. Give this a really good beat. Don't worry if it looks slightly separated and not fully combined, that's perfectly normal and doesn't affect the finished pudding. <music> Lastly, I measure out some whole milk and add half of this along with a third of a flour baking powder. I switch my mixing technique from beating to folding. Really important actually, as you want your puddings to be really nice, light and fluffy. Do this until you run out of milk and flour, then I'll add in these beautiful dates. I'm not saying this last part is easy, I mean you're always going to drip some of this mixture where you don't want to, aren't you? You may want to give the outside of the ramekins a quick wipe before they go into the oven and pop them in and watch them rise. The only thing I need to do now is make my sticky toffee sauce, an important component you don't want to miss out. More sugar, more butter and cream go in and then melt this over the stove. You can add in some black treacle. I'm going to add in some golden syrup to achieve a slightly lighter color. Once you've got all of this melted and the puddings are baked, the sauce can be drizzled over and voila. scrummy, sticky toffee pudding, rich and comforting. This is one of my favourite desserts, a classic British pud. Got to love it. Hopefully you enjoyed my video and I look forward to catching you next week. Mm -hmm.